Hello everyone, I'm Abhijit Singh and in this Google Summer of Code, we will be building musical ideation through generative AI. A little bit introduction about myself, I'm Abhijit Singh, I am interested in how things work internally, make them even better, optimize it and uh, I like to tackle complex problems and I try to play guitar every day and have some experience in music theory. So what we are going to build in this GSoft 24 so we are going to implement a feature that is musical improvisation through generative ai and music blocks so what does feature implement so suppose a student wants to uh, create harmony and uh, it's need some hint or suggestion how they could improvise those harmony or wants to complete his harmony so there would be an llm by their side to complete those harmony improvise it and the possibility is endless so why this project because uh, after implementing this feature, there would be a lot of uh, endless opportunities um, by this using LLM. And another uh, reason was that I could use my whole skill that I have some experience in uh, music theory, I have some experience in uh, software development. And now, in, while implementing this feature, I could use all my skills. So, how we are going to build this feature? Basically, sub, uh, here's the flow chart for it. So user starts. Uh, so user starts composition in music blocks and request LLM for improvisation, and then user send the request. I want to improve this harmony. Would you improve it? So basically, those LLM would be trained on ABC format. So uh, those music blocks would be needed to convert to ABC format. Uh, then the once it's converted, the LLM would improvise it, complete the harmony, and give those response in ABC format. And then we convert the those ABC format into music blocks and show it to the user. And there would be a feedback uh, feedback flowback, so where user could in, uh, have their feedbacks or enhancement feature, which helps LLM to improvise it. So moving on to the next, why ABC not MIDI or Lilypond? Initially, we thought MIDI would be a great choice because of musical standardness, but when we dig a little bit more. We found out that MIDI have a lengthy sequence. When we convert those into music blocks, it would take a lot of resources, space, and that we don't want it. And also, when we train MIDI on LLM, it require high uh, extensive resources, and uh, it also have uh, issue with tokenization and a lot of stuff. And that's why uh, ABC was a better choice. Also, if you want to dig a little bit more onto this, uh, there is a research paper on chat musician which tells why ABC is better to use for uh, LLM and, uh, and you could check out those research paper. So basically, ABC has high compression rate, they have repeat uh, notation and um, so when we convert those into music blocks, uh, it could be modularized and, and, maintain and could be maintained in better format. So moving on to the next here we have ABC notation In ABC notation we have X which represents the reference number, T represents the title of the song, M represents the time signature, K represents the default le length of the note which is got a note, K represents the key of the song which is in key, uh, key of C and then we have the notes. So here you could see that we are going through up and down the scale of C. And also, if you see that in ABC notation, this whole thing is very much in compressed format, which help us uh, in conversion of uh, ABC code, ABC notation to the music block. Because uh, if you check this in MIDI, that's going to be very a long sequence, whereas in ABC format, it's very highly compressed. And for uh, repetition, we have uh, repetition notation for in ABC notate, uh, notation. Uh, in MIDI, we don't have it, and this also comes a lengthy sequence. Moving on to the next, that is progress till now. So, we have almost completed the ABC parser to music blocks. Uh, there is some issue we need to fix it uh, by the end of this and next week. Uh, the whole ABC parser will be completed. Basically, there is uh, some issue with time signature and triplets, quadruplets, and those. So we are creating a generic form, so the time uh, length for those would be uh, uh, in the generic format. Next, uh, there is some issue with repetition, so uh, if there is a repetition, we need to add a loop onto those. 
so we need to check out those and with this our project would be uh, our abc parser would be implemented and then we'll be implementing the uh, integrating the llm with the abc parser and then whole project uh, whole flow would be completed so the thing would be uh, user implement some uh, uh, implement some harmony in music blocks then uh, it would be converted into abc and then it would be send it out to llm to make the conversion the llm would convert those uh, abc uh, improvise those uh, abc notes and or uh, complete those abc and then we have abc parser that converts those abc into music blocks for um, you might be thinking that we also need to have some code for uh, music uh, music abc uh, music block to abc but uh, in music blocks we already have uh, functionality to convert codes into abc format uh, we just only need to convert ABC to music blocks. Now, if you are excited about this feature, so we have a pull request. Uh, you could check out those pull requests that is pull. Uh, you need to go to music blocks and we have, uh, you just need to check out the pull request that is 3837. Uh, I release daily a blog post on the this implementing this feature at medium at YURBG. And if you have any doubt or any question, you could reach us out on Sugar Matrix Lab and I will be there to help you out. With this, uh, thank you everyone.